There you go. Good job, Daisy. <laughs> oh, you're okay. <laughs> oh, you're okay, Daisy. You're okay, Daisy. Excited? Excited? <laughs> Blake and Jessica. Well, I saw Jessica yesterday. She was telling me hey. about. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there you go. Here, I'll give you these guys. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. I'll, I'll grab their stuff for you. Oh, there's the jumping. There's the jumping. Hi. Oh, that's so exciting. <laughs> So it's gonna be pretty normal when it comes to like puppies and behaviors. Like uh, not really picking up on the subtle uh, social cues and corrections for, for space with another pup. And then when they finally overreact, <laughs> um, he at least behaved well and didn't like retaliate or anything. So overall pretty, pretty normal. Um, usually that's why we try to get them a lot of socializing, especially among peers and, and play groups when they're younger, so they learn to better communicate with other pups and stuff. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna grab my keys if you don't mind. Yeah. yeah. At least it's cooling down, but I feel like the, the storm is rolling. Yeah, I feel like At least it looks like he won't get too much bigger. Maybe a little bit. But he definitely, uh, definitely pulls, huh? I brought the gentle lead. And that sounded like I said, like, he's usually pretty good about it. He doesn't, like, uh, hog like this. But if he gets bigger, he's gonna It's kind of patting him when he's trying to push forward because he's excited and so a big part of like good leash manners and things that we'll be working on is him actually just focusing on us and like where we're going and what we're doing instead of him just kind of, oh there you go. So for example with a lot of puppies, we do like a lot of luring. Wait, here, come. <laughs> oh, he got it. Right, so like, even though he's excited and jumping, he's at least kind of following us and where we're going. And he's not pulling because we have something of interest with him. So his interest, good job, is with us. Good job. All right. Usually that's how you would start is like just by luring them around, getting them used to following you because you have something interesting to them as opposed to like having the entire environment be the interesting thing and then you're like chop liver. <laughs> yeah. So teaching them actually like leash pressure recognition as opposed to just feeling it and ignoring it continuing to pull towards whatever it is that they're interested in. Chomp chomp. There's always like uh, the baby proofing or there's always switching out the knobs. Because um, once they learn things like that, it's really hard to unlearn. Right? Oh. 
Go ahead and call his name. Let's see what his name response is. And recall is something that he's not consistent with too, like saying his name and nothing. Gotcha. Let's try again. Okay. Let's go. Good job. Sit. Stay. Go ahead and take a few steps away. And then call him to you. Oh. <laughs> okay. He seems to really just naturally pop up towards whatever is interesting to him. Let's go to that trash can for you. So he does just kind of naturally jump up often, huh? It's not just yeah. during greetings. Right, and he's very bouncy. Like, no, get your hair. Gotcha. All four paws. <laughs> We'll have to try to recondition him off of that habit. Man, the phone is, goodness. Oh. <laughs> so what do you usually do when he jumps up on you? So when he tries to jump, I try to walk into it. That was a bad example where I was stepping back. I'll let you try to run me through what you usually do to correct him and how it, how effective it is. Yeah, when he's jumping on other people, I just try to um, like hold him in one spot, and that's not very effective. Okay. Um, when he's at home, huh? I'll have the leash on him sometimes, and then I'll kind of hold it if I see that he's getting Exciting. ready to jump. Okay. Um, sometimes I'll squat him on the nose and say no jump, no jumping, or down. It's just nothing has been super effective, to be honest. Gotcha. Okay. So what we're going to need to do is try to like interrupt his excitement when he's mid-jumping. Uh, it's going to take some timing and then also finding a good subtle way of, well, maybe not so subtle, but a good way of correcting or interrupting his, his train of thought and his excitement. Because uh, usually if like we have to be the one to hold him back on the leash, he doesn't really learn any impulse control or anything, or self-control. And then if we ask him down or off, and then he just blows through that, then he learns that he doesn't have to listen to that either, right? So um, having some sort of both a positive reinforcement for when we tell him down and he actually stays down would be good. And then also a negative reinforcement for when we see him coming, we tell him down and he ignores it, right? Having something negative happen so that way he doesn't want to continue uh, with that action. Um, that's just going to be timing, but luckily it looks like we're going to have plenty of opportunities for practice for him. <laughs> uh, okay, was there anything else that you wanted to showcase for me? I was trying to think of the notes. Uh, the jumping, the counter surfing, I'll be able to kind of replicate. Um, the only thing with that is we'll be practicing like leave it, which is them not getting to something, and then drop it, which is when they have already something and they release. Um, but the uh, caveat to that is to make sure that once um, they're back at home, that you guys do your best to set them up for success, you know, and, and try not to have things on the counter, and or we'll run through a couple of exercises together where you'll act purposefully have things on the counter, but be ready to correct him or to redirect him. Um, so that's, that's how we would handle that one. Um, anything else you can think of? Um, biting, jumping, and pulling on the leash were the three really big ones. Okay. How bad is his biting? It's it's pretty frequent. Um, he gets a good bite in every once in a while. <laughs> oh, good down. Ha. Thank you. Yeah, good job. Mm -hmm. Good job. Good job. Ow. Thank you. Okay. That's pretty normal puppy biting. Uh, so trying to mark it whenever they do apply some, some force with you know, their mouth around us. Um, and then either turn it into licking or um, just having them disengage. Okay. Um, is there anything else you wanted to go over? Not really. Yeah. <laughs>
have you noticed any behaviors that you think I need to kind of look out for and help them with? Yeah. I mean, I'll, that, I'll be evaluating him the first couple days anyways and all his behaviors, and I'll let you know. We'll, we'll start off with the most obvious things like the leash pulling and the jumping and stuff like that. We'll keep him posted. And so we're working with Cap over here. Get down. Just gonna go for a little bit of a practice walk with him. Working on his name recognition as well as rewarding him for healing and on leash pressure. And then also trying to get him to not jump when he uh, comes back to us on a recall. Good job. So right now all we've just been practicing is him recognizing when there's pressure on the leash and refocusing his attention back up to us. Good boy. Good job, the guy. Yes, this way. And I'm helping to add impact to when he hits the end of the leash and him refocusing by doing those big turns. Right. Keeping the leash nice and loose, letting him explore, and then when he checks back on his own, he also gets a reward. I really want to make this spot like his favorite spot to be in. Right? Doesn't always have to be prompted by the, the leash pressure, but if he feels rewarded just for checking in or staying close, that's going to be perfect. Good job, big guy. And just so we don't blow through all the treats, I'll always mark, but maybe after a couple of redirects or a few few steps, then I'll give him another treat. Good job. And right now, all we're kind of really doing is luring him into position and rewarding for the positive behaviors that we want to see kind of improved on. Good job, big guy. eventually what ends up happening oh good boy what ends up happening is that he uh, catches something interesting with his nose and then he just starts to walk pretty quickly towards it good job so there I wanted to hold his attention by taking a treat and holding it up towards my eyes or my chest getting him used to adding in that focus because for for me at least a heel a good heel is 50% um, positioning, right? So <laughs> anywhere in this <laughs> general area, and then 50% focus. If he has focus on me, he can be anywhere. Most people like them to be right beside them. It also just makes it easier for them to follow you with their peripheral vision, right? Because if he's right beside me or behind me, as soon as I turn, he'll be able to recognize it. <laughs> Good boy, right? As soon as I stop, because he's focused on me, he'll be able to recognize it. And it's not impossible for a pup to do that if they're in front of you or behind you or whatnot. It's just a little bit harder. They would have to get used to either checking checking in or reacting to the leash pressure. So here we've got, yes, good boy, come. We've got a good distraction there with the other puppy walking by. And he was able to redirect, refocus. Once again, yes, good boy, with me. And again, to add impact, turn, good boy. Good. You can tell when he gets excited, he's a lot more likely to just start moving faster, right? Good boy. He loses focus a lot faster, starts kind of exploring a little bit more. Boy, good job. That's okay. Yes, part of it is going to be recovery, right? And then here, yeah, because he's excited, he's more likely to jump. Uh-uh. Down. Good. He's working on the other side now. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, good job. 
Very good. Spent most of the day just practicing this inside with uh, with less distractions. He's really good about it. Just one of those things that we want him to just really get used to being in this area, going back and forth and focusing. Luckily, he's, he's very treat oriented. And he also likes toys too, so we'll have a bunch of different options that we'll be able to work with for him. He wants to go on this side. <laughs> Boy. Yes, good boy. Getting him used to sitting when he's um, coming into or in our personal space as opposed to jumping up. And all you have to really do for that is prompting him to sit or down and then giving him a reward. And that's another fun and easy exercise to do inside since it's so hot during the midday we were just playing and as soon as he starts bouncing up and down and getting jumpy we'll ask him to sit and after he sits for a minute we'll um we'll play some more and as soon as he starts or thinks about to jump up we ask him to sit or down and if he does it successfully and controls himself you know and actually stays down when we give him that down command then we give him a reward with the treats. So here it's going to be a little bit easier. So you got some kids there. Distracted, not too bad. He is definitely very shy. So it'll be interesting to see what his uh, his social evaluation is going to be like tomorrow. When we walk around the shopping center a little bit. Shouldn't be too busy on a, on a weekday. But so far, he's wanted to kind of avoid meeting all the neighbors and the kids and things like that. He has warmed up to the rest of the pack, though, so that's good. Good boy. Good job, big guy. So the next time he redirects on his own, I'm going to go ahead and reward that. Good boy. Exercise definitely helps. Um... You want to try to find a good balance because uh, right now of the weather it's really easy to overwork the puppies and overexert them in the heat so it's good to take take breaks um we'll just mostly if we have to be outside we'll be out there for like maybe 15 to 30 minutes max and then we'll give them a, a break let them cool down get some water get some ac good job but even after that, um, he starts to walk pretty nicely once he starts to kind of get a little bit tired on his own. Good boy. Cute. Right, getting him to respond to that leash pressure. Let's see if he needs to use the bathroom. Definitely doing really good for a first day. Like I said, it's all really basic things. But the more that we develop the basics, the easier it's going to be to do everything else down the road. Yes, good boy. Adding impact. There you go. Good boy. Getting him prompted. <laughs> we got some kids running around. So, because I lost him a couple times there, I'm going to go back to luring him. I'm going to try to get him to focus on me for a little bit more. Wait. Okay, come. Yes, good. Okay, good. We really want him to focus on, on me, the person, not just the treat in my hand. Good job. Good boy. All right. Sit. Say hi to your mom. 